Hi ladies, it's Karen and I come to you with a couple more quick project shares. Um, the other day I shared these little wine glass, um, dollar, dollar store wine glass um, snow globes, although I didn't put snow in this one. But it was an idea inspired by Carrie. She's done for 9904. And um, so I shared a couple of these the other day. And I made another one, this one. And this one I tried to make like shabby chic, you know, something that you could um, keep out year round or, you know, at least past Christmas. So um, what I did with this one was I added this white doily from the paper bag lady. And see, you could see it was too big. So it's hanging out just a little bit, but I thought that would be all right. So I put that on the base. I had to cut a hole in it so that it could go down around the stem of this bottom portion. So um, then after I did that, I took this pink rosette, and that's from Saw Crafters. And I had to do the same thing snip a little hole in the middle so that it could go down around the stem because on this base there's a stem similar to this, you know. Um, so that's what the little bird is sitting on. And this bird used to be black. Um, it was um, from a pack of birds I picked up around Halloween. But to make it more um, holiday-ish, I guess, I went over it with my glitter gold nail polish. So I think, I think she came out really sweet. And then I just added my flowers. Um, this big, pretty pink rose, I used my scintillating silver and my um, Lindy Stamp Gang, um, the sprays from the Wonderland collection to make it look like a little frosted, a little frost on there. So I put that down. Over here, there's a little pink snowflake and that's a, like a miniature ornament to go on one of those miniature trees and I added a little button there you know to make it look like the bird gathered those things for her nest and then these little gold these little um, I am roses I used my gold stickles on the edges there uh, some got on the on the inside of the um, ornament but that's okay it's still very cute and um, I put a little Eiffel Tower charm there in the back. And then uh, on top of the rosette, I also used another one of the smaller doilies like this um, from the paper bag lady on top of the rosette. And that's what the bird is sitting on. See, I forgot I had added that. So I think it came out really cute. And then on this top par portion, I took... Um, that narrow lace that you could find at Hobby Lobby. I put some hot glue on the stem and then I wrapped that narrow lace, you know, all the way up around the around this stem. And then I added, you know, some cherry blossoms from I Am Roses. And then this pretty gold ribbon there. So I thought it came out really cute. And then, you know, I used the snowflake um, little snowflake ornament that you could find at the Dollar Tree as well and that's kind of part of its base so I thought this was really cute I thought this one came out cute very shabby chic and then I made a um, snow globe and this I made specifically for my sister because um, when she saw these ornaments that I had made she had wanted one and she had mentioned that you know she didn't have a lot of Christmas decorations she had like this small tabletop type tree and over the years, she's given away her Christmas decorations, so I wanted to make her um, a decoration. And I thought this might, I wanted to make it so that she could leave it out all year if she wanted it, wanted to. I didn't want it to be like in your face Christmas, you know? So for this one, I laid, um, if you could see that there, I laid the white doily. It's the same, same one as, as this you know, with the little ends there on the base. I sprayed it with the scintillating silver and sprays from the Wonderland collection from Lindy's Stamp Gang. I had to snip off the little 
the little edges like this off of this one so that it would fit in the base so the globe would go on. And then for the nest, the, the nests come too big for the globe, so you have to like reshape them um, and uh, to make them fit on the base properly. And it's, it's not hard, but you, you have to reshape them and make them a little deeper. So I did that, and then I sprayed it with my Lindy's Stamp Gang and went over it with gesso to give it the look of snow. Really cute. And then I just added, started adding my little things that the bird may have collected. Um, I, the first thing I added, of course, was a seashell, and I went over that a little bit with gesso to make it look like a little bit of snow. That little white piece there is a piece from um, the spray that I shared in my haul video that I got at Joann's. It, it, that white stuff on it was already on it so it looked like there was snow. This little red bead or berry that was part of the same spray. Um, I put a couple of cherry blossoms from I Am Roses. Um, there's another part of the spray, that green piece. And then this red is one of the petals. I wanted to put a little bit of Christmas color in there. It's one of these petals from um, the flowers you can find at Michael's. And I just draped that over the side. Really cute. And then I took um, one of these doilies and I cut it in half. And I laid half and made it so it's dripping over that side. I added that little... Um, um, rhinestone looking type bead. I put that in there. Um, another piece of the doily and another um, cherry blossom and then I took a piece of music paper and distressed it with the red Tim Holtz ink. I forget what it's called. But I distressed it and just laid it over the side there. Another couple of um, the poinsettia pebbles or petals. I just thought it came out really cute. Um, what else is in here? I think that's it. But this one came out really cute. I love that bird too. She's She came all sparkly and everything. And then for around the base I took this trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I just you know wrapped it around the base and then I went around with the um, halfback pearls. Now here's my question. I'm gonna ask you your opinion. It, um, because it seems like it might be missing something so I uh, prepared this flowers from I Am Roses. I sprayed it with the Wonderland sprays and the scintillating silver. I went over it with gesso and and stuff. It's really it's really sweet. But I was wondering, you know, if I should add that here. You know how that would look. I mean, it, I know it would look cute and everything. But I was wondering if you thought maybe less is more for this particular globe. You know. Um, so let me know what you think. And then I, for the top, I don't really want to add um, flowers to the top because th that kind of blocks the view of looking down and seeing, you know, what's in there. But I was going to add just a little, one of these little doilies or something on the top there. Let me know what you think um, because I think it looks really cute like this, but then again, it would look cute with a flower. So... Anyway, those are my shares, and then this took like real quick, maybe 15 minutes to complete. These are really sweet. They come out really sweet, really quick project, and um, I just love them, so I'm going to have to get more globes. So those are my shares. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think about this one, if I should add that pretty flower, or if I should add one of these poinsettias. That might be cute too, but then it would definitely be a Christmas thing, and I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> so there you go. Those are my little shares for the day. Thanks so much for watching, ladies. I appreciate it. Bye-bye now.